That's right, the Perez boy is back again, this time with another amazing video. He's gonna be doing beach cliff sardines served in soybean oil with hot green chilies. Let's jump right in. Mm. These are not bad. It's kind of, it has like a jalapeno flavor to it. With a nice kick of spice to it. I do like this. How um, it's nice, very nice, but it's kind of like a hard softness to it. It does have a like, mix with hard and soft. I do not like that that much. They're very hard to break apart. So like you can't just eat them. These would actually go good on crackers. Really hard. Um, they're good though. Let's see if I can find any more stuff instead of like jalapeno. Let's see if I can find the bay leaf or something like that. Or an onion. And those are big chunks of fish right there. If you can see that. Nothing but pepper. The, the scales are very shiny. Very, very shiny. If you can see that. It has like a nice color and designing to it. I want to sample the juices. Whoa, that's spicy. It has a big kick of spice to it. Nice flavor. I actually like it. My spice level on this would be a large like a at the very top it's very spicy once you take some bites you don't taste that much spice but then after a little few minutes it kicks you with the biggest spice and it's, this might be the spiciest can i ever tried really that's how spicy that are pretty much to me okay they have i have had spicier which is the muscles this is the spiciest sardine can i had gotcha just cut down on the spice cut down on the spice the way it you put the spice in it's like you put a hundred peppers that's how spicy it is but too much jalapenos though you can see how much there is everywhere i don't rate them all actually i don't know that because they're not good but not bad so maybe like uh seven out of ten Seven out of ten. Stay fishy, my friend. Stay fishy. Stay fishy, my friend. Stay fishy. Stay fishy, my friend. <laughs> Stay fishy, Liam. <laughs> Stay fishy. Stay fishy indeed. The Perez boy is back again. That's right, the Perez boy is back again. This time he wanted to show you his grandfather's fig tree. Um, tell him a little bit about it, Liam. So, my uncle Huey, my uncle Perez. Give a big shout out to him for planning this. But then my grandpa helped me too. And it got, came very big. I'm a big one for you guys. This one looks good. I'm only going to eat the inside because it hasn't been washed. This one is perfect. Not too sweet. Not too sour. Right in the middle. These go good on fig pieces. No. No, I'm telling them. It does. <laughs> you like pepperoni. Trust me, I tried it. It's not good. Whatever. But yeah, this is a pretty big fig tree. It's been producing pretty awesome for us all uh, all of August. But uh, in about another three weeks, most of this stuff will be done. And uh, we'll be figless. Guys, we do have pear trees back here, which are doing kind of good. But we do not pick them now. Often because there's a lot of wasps and bees in them. And there are a lot of wasps here. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Tell everyone you know to like and subscribe to our channel.